Okay, I'm in Tampa. Friend Billy, thanks for doing this with me. Yep. Adam LZ's 2018. I don't know if these are 18s or 19s. But it doesn't matter. It's a dot two. I think they're 18s, aren't they? I'm not sure on threes. This is a this is a GT3 RS 991.2, which would be the latest version. This, believe it or not, this is a lava orange. This is a paint to sample color. Uh, so in the dot two, painted the lava orange is not an option. So this is a thirteen thousand dollar paint option, and doesn't matter how much money you spend on paint, it's still jacked up. Yep, we've already seen it. <laughs> lots of uh, lots of um, either uh, he did this at the Atlanta Performance Delivery Center or the Porsche Driving Experience Center. So really doesn't matter where you get it, what dealer you get it from. Even if even if they didn't wash it at the Performance Center, which they probably washed it five times six times yeah. and the car is still going to need to get corrected most of that damage i think is done at the factory they're sanding just, marks yeah they're just buzzing them out real quick yeah. to get the halos halos out. from rotary polishing yeah. um just time constraint on getting the cars out and so i know you know conventional wisdom most of you are watching my videos know that a new car needs just as much if not more work than an old car uh, but even though this is like he literally hasn't driven it on the road I think he drove it in a couple of parking lots and that's it. Uh, the car is really going to need to get corrected. So the process is going to be decon. So yep. we're going to strip wash it. I don't know if that's really even necessary. I'm sure they, what you, they put some sort of wax or sealant or something on the thing. There's yeah. probably something Better on there. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. So we're going to decon it. Uh, my process is uh, use the soap. So I brought Billy some of my fancy soap. He gave me the eye, like, get out of here. What is this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to do that, and then we'll clay it. Or you know, Do you have auto scrub or some version of auto scrub? No, we don't have that, actually. We use just, just a clay traditional it. clay bar. Okay, yeah. so we're going to clay it, uh, and then um, we'll iron, iron remove it as well. Yep. So we'll, so we'll actually um, strip it, iron remove, clay Yep. And then we'll bring in and assess it. So let's get rolling. This this could be a long one. So this probably is going to be multiple, multiple parts. We're going to take you from start to finish, from correction to paint pr paint protection film to coating. So yep. we're going to coat the car, the surfaces that aren't PPF'd and the sur surfaces that are. And we'll talk about what we're going to do and why and the whole process around it. So we're going to back it out here, quickly wash it. There's some shade over here, but uh, we're going to quickly uh, wash and decon it. It's always funny to me, you detailers, you really don't give a crap about this part, the wash part that I'm so obsessed with. <laughs> you're just uh, you're all about, let's just get it done. Just wash it, clay, get yeah, it yeah, inside, yeah. And start polishing yeah. it. Okay. Where I'm spending um, tens of thousands of dollars on washing crap, you don't even care. Is that soap you brought, the brought stripping, some, stripping soap? Some fancy soap, yep. Okay. So you're gonna do the foam cannon or? Both. Okay. Should have told me you have a janky foam cannon. I would have brought you a new one. <laughs> Employees, look what he did the other night. Yeah. We also got a janky uh, Krinsla set up right now. Because we hacked, one broke. So we hacked up the handles and everything. I don't know I have an infinite supply of all that cool stuff. So step one, rinse the car. I know we got some funky sunlight here. So, so pre-rinse foam? Yep. You're in charge here. I'm just, I'm learning from you. I, I want to make sure we're taking care of you. This isn't my car. I don't give a crap. <laughs> this is Adam's car. Serious halo hazing over here. While he's doing that, I'll tell you a little bit about the difference between this and the dot one. So obviously you have Naka ducks. This car, this is a Vysok car, so you have carbon with or exposed carbon. See, like like my car, my dot one is carbon as well. It's just painted. So exposed carbon hood or front trunk lid. You have exposed carbon roof and the exposed carbon wing. But the dot two has a taller wing. It has uh, different uh, side splitters uh, that are actually considerably more aggressive. A lot more plastic, though, on the on these cars, it feels, than the, than the dot, uh, dot one. The 
whatever the air intake ducts are different where they put this big piece of plastic on there uh, obviously Visoc has the carbon mirror option these the uh, side uh, whatever brake ducts here or side arrow they protrude out or mine are recessed uh, and then of course you have different front and rear bumpers but the biggest difference between this car and the you know and the dot one is the engine you know, you have RSR inspired, you know, race bred engine versus mine. It's just some janky, uh, you know, nine, 981, uh, 911 variant. All right, so I'm, you're not used to people talking this much around you. No. You know me better, though. I don't really talk this much in real life. I'm just a little recluse. Set the camera up, though, and you can't shut me up. So again, alkaline soap, foams well. Does some semblance of stripping soap, waxes and sealants. It's a good reset wash for, uh, for a coating. You know, I've used it on sea courts and things like that and it, you know, it's done pretty well. All right, washing just like normal. I still like washing my M3 more than a GT3. I don't know why, it's something about it. It's a throwback? Maybe. <laughs> I put my Brembo's on last night. Oh man, looks so sick. 380 millimeter front and rear. The CU can feel alkaline, that, that sliminess. Yeah. That's how you know it's working, Billy. Don't give me that look. Oh. I thought it was just some slimy stuff. Stripping. Everything's better when you got two people to do the work. Oh, it's so much better. I don't know how you do this every day. What's your average go at go home time? Eight o'clock at night? Uh well since I hired Gabe it's been a lot better. But he he stays late. He likes to work late though. Yeah. Oops. Um I've when I was by myself, or even when he was part-time, I was working you know, eight, nine in the morning, all the way till midnight, two o'clock in the morning sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> you always have a choice. Well, yeah. If you wanted to get it done. I wanted, yeah. If you wanted to get the next car. I wanted to get paid, yeah. Make a better living. Well, it's a simple function here, man. That if you have, you can't more, really speed it up, so it's right. But if you have more business than you can handle, you need more people. Yeah, yeah. It's either more people or more time, which is just more time, really. Yeah. I also like my door handles better. I want my car with this engine. Yeah. And this interior. So is this um, okay to dwell, or is it better to dwell? Uh. It just depends. I mean, in the sun, we don't want it to. I mean, if right now, what we're doing, it won't matter, but. Okay, next step. We need iron. Yeah, I forgot. I got the iron removal. So what's your fallout process? Spray it on? Spray it on, I usually wipe it in with my hands. Okay. And then uh, usually I'll rinse it off at that point and then clay it inside. This is, what is this, W2 or? W6. Uh, do these cars usually have iron on them? Yeah. I never thought about doing it this way. I've done like microfiber towel before. Yeah, that would work too, actually, pretty well. A little bit more. But I usually just get lazy and don't do any of this. <laughs> I just spray it on, let it sit. And rinse it off. Call it a day. Yeah, I like to just work it in a little bit and then rinse it well, off. Well, because here you're going to miss some spots. Right. Now, obviously you wouldn't want to do this if the car was corrected. 
even then I guess this isn't gonna really mar it. It's pretty pretty gentle. I mean, as long as it's clean. Yeah. I think people overcomplicate things. I mean I'm the king of fancy, but <laughs> fancy doesn't always have to mean complicated. Alright, and now I rinse. I try to talk him into let me take that freaking stupid thing off the bottom. What thing? The sticker? Yeah. That would uh, make Ryan real happy. I hate that crap. He hates those. Yeah. Because he has to cut out around them. In many ways, I still like how a Dot One Carrera sounds better than a GT3. GT4, GT4, you know. A, yeah, let's ask him. Chemical guys, I don't know if I can get down with that. <laughs> I used your soap. <laughs> I gotta use your clay. All right. <laughs> All Let right. me get some spray. There's really got. So this is a. This is why I like doing stuff with people, other people, because you get to figure other things out. All you chemical guys, you guys are gonna be super excited about that. So you got ONR ten to one. It's been a while since I clayed. I'm always using the auto scrub. There's not a lot on this. No, there is. Keep this clay is keep it wet. Yeah, I see or that. It'll stick. And don't hit the stickers. Would be good for the internet <laughs> if we took them off. It would make it would give Adam some street cred. Well, it would probably go both ways. You have the nerd dads. The elite. <laughs> you have nerd dads who uh like neon signs in their garage. <laughs> and then you got nerd dads who uh, don't like stickers, like me. This is not fair, I've gotta speed up my game here. He's gonna have three quarters of the car done. I'm speed gonna clay. On, I'm gonna be on the windows. I'm leaving black trails all over the place. Um, just maybe let up on pressure or more, more spray. I kinda just like float it in between my hand, my fingers. Yeah, I was pushing down too hard. This clay will get out some serious stuff. So I, I just go like this. And just... I mean, they'll wipe off with a towel, but... Yeah, it'll polish off really easy, too. Well, you're on your that own. That was $10. You're on your own. <laughs> I did that on... Presidential goes down 10 points. I did that on purpose. If you do that... <laughs> I owe Billy lunch. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta hold on to mine really good. As, as you're picking it up, I <laughs> Yeah, this is the this is why I'm the amateur. <laughs> what have you not done? You I did, did the whole side. I, I right? did to here. I dropped. You're going it. this way? Yeah. You can see my trail of a uh, black. <laughs> oh, there goes mine. <laughs> <laughs> Deconned. Now we need to dry it. All right, what do you think? Well, we gotta get some lights on it first. Some real lights. <laughs> um, but we saw outside already, you know, it has lots of uh, buffer trails or holograms. I haven't some. seen any uh, sanding yeah, I dim seen, marks yeah. yet. Um, and I haven't seen much on the paint, the actual orange paint. Most of it's in the carbon, it's pretty typical. Um, what's your normal process, like wheels? Do we take them off now? What are we, what are we doing? Um, I usually leave them on but we can take them off. It's easier to move the car up and down if you have the wheels on it and you don't have to worry so much. And they're yeah. the grease. Okay, so, the so grease. we'll, uh, I guess, so we'll do the car and then we'll do the wheels if we can. Yeah, I do yeah. La wheels last always. Okay. Yeah. You get, and then get, you're cleaning off any of the polishing dust and stuff. Are we gonna too. take the wing off? Um, we can. I mean, these are super easy to take off. Yeah. Yeah, just the, these two, four So obviously right. we're gonna need to tape this and that. Well, this is getting wrapped. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. for polishing it, yeah. you're gonna need to tape, tape this, this and don't go near it. Yep. I mean, I guess technically you could get in here and 
Honestly, it's not worth it. Yeah, I don't think so either. So um, just I would tape off. off just, you know, both sides and yeah. polish this and yeah. polish this and call it. And if there the is any hide everything. Yeah, if there's marring here, the film. the film would hide everything that's in that hood. I mean, I it makes it look perfect, but, yeah, you know, but obviously we're not going to make it right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to tape off all this. Yep. Plastics. Trim. Yeah, the decals on the side. Did he say he wanted to keep them? Yeah. yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Um, so tape. Oh, you got the good stuff. We got some 3M precision. So we'll, uh, your normal process tape, then assess. Yeah. And we'll do test spot. Yeah, we'll I mean, tape we it already know this, You already know what this is going to do, right? I mean, what are you going to do? Griot's fast correcting and... Mm -hmm. Microfiber. Yeah. And then... Uh, Barring been... this paint, this color having some crazy... I mean, you can pretty much bank on that's going to work. And then finish with perfect finish. Yep. Group is yellow. Yep. Or I have uh, the spider pad from um, Car Pro. Yeah. I really love those pads too. I'd like to do it with. Let's do it with yellow though. I don't do that combo a lot. Okay. So it'd be nice to try. What's all this black stuff on the doors? <laughs> I can't help it. You're using ancient ancient clay bar technology here. <laughs> so you like the scrub mitts? I only like the, um, like, I don't like the clay towels and all that. Yeah. I like the, uh, like, the actual true, you know, auto scrub sponge and then the auto scrub pad. I don't like the pad on the machine. It takes forever. Just put the pad. Yeah, the... I never liked the machine. Yeah. I mean, you just sit there moving around. It doesn't really, and it'll, I say the machine only gets you 60%, you know, 60% of what a actual clay bar will get you. You know, I'd say if you're getting if you're getting 100% with a clay bar, you're going to get 95% with auto scrub, and you drop it on the ground, and you dunk it in a bucket. <laughs> so what do you say about you know? Because from uh, on the camera, you know what the comment's going to be, right? I'm wearing a watch. No. <laughs> well, not. No, the car looks great. Yeah. But we're going to make it look amazing. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a visual improvement when everything's done over how it looks now. It's hard to believe sometimes, even for us, you know, you get a brand new car. You know you can do a little bit, but then the end result is always yeah, pretty awesome. So what's your assessment on, we'll talk more about this, but Ultra versus CSL? Um, like, what would you, if I asked you which one, to, and a customer was asking you, what would you say? So CSL is definitely doesn't have the durability that Ultra has, mm -hmm. um, but it's still a really amazing coating. If you take care of your car, Ultra or uh, CSL is super nice. Um, so if I do take care of it, am I? Is there any any case where CSL is going to be better than Ultra? Application, ease of use. That's it. Pretty much. Um, yeah, pretty much. The, the hydrophobics and everything are kind of similar, um, but they don't, they don't seem to last as long. But again, if, you, if you're taking care of your car, it, it will last, and it's a very good coating. So for but Adam? Serum is, takes more abuse, so for, like, for us, with our clients, you know, not all of them take care of the cars yeah. the way we do. Um, so it holds up, so it makes it better for, for them and us, as far as the business aspect goes. Mm -hmm. But I love CSL. I like how slick it is. I, I like how easy, it, like mindless it is to, to install. Yeah. It's a little smeary, more than Ultra is, um, but, but it all wipes off like super easy. The chance of getting a high spot is very slim. So that you, that's your new favorite? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like how it feels. Like the afterwards. slickness? Yeah. Yeah. I've never, I don't think there's any other coating that feels like that. I know that's stupid, but <laughs> that's, I don't know, I just like that. I like to be able to run the back of my hand down the surface when I'm done. And it just feels like... Whoosh. Yeah. And then it, it does have, 
it's not as wax-like as like the kamikaze stuff. Yeah. Like ISM. But the other advantage is, I mean, the, like you said, the chance of getting a high spot is really slow. I mean, you have to yep. be really stupid. And every time I've done ISM, I've gotten high spots. And I'm yeah. not an idiot. So, or maybe I am an idiot, but. Have you played with Ultra? No. I mean, Ultra doesn't really help me all right. that much because I can't get it. Right. I, I mean, I could get it, but it's like I'm just cheating the system. Yeah, you can't sell it. Right. And so why... And I mean, it's, I only put coatings on so often, so I want to you know, I want to be an expert in what it is that I'm using. And you didn't happen to bring any thick tape, did you? Mm-mm. I should have. I wish... I'm sure you have a different take on this, but I wish that... Pro coatings didn't even exist. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't. It doesn't help you any. any of your it, customers are your customers. Would it matter if you, uh, you know, if you were using only if you only had? The only, let's say CSL was the best. The only problem that affects us is when you have the guys that are just like new or whatever, and they get a hold of it, and then they're charging, you know, $200 to coat a car, and then it brings the value down yeah. of the brand, and that's when it fails. So it's not, it's not a matter of keeping people away from it. It's, it's just protecting the brand, really. It's like a map. It's like yeah. a form of map. The reason why I want it available, I want access to the best as a consumer. It's not that freaking hard to install. You guys don't have some <laughs> magician skills. You just slop it on the paint and wipe it off. Yeah. Any idiot can do it. That's right. It's all the stuff before that is where the skill comes in. Well, I will say I've had a couple of Seacourts UK cars that customers <laughs> tried to put it on. Yeah. And that was a nightmare. We had to sand two entire cars. One was a Jag and one was a Tesla. I think, uh, you know, on the one on the one M, I think it had 3.0 on it. And I think I got it off with just compounding. It seemed to come off. This this guy put Seacourts UK on the whole car at once. Oh. To, you know, it takes oh, like an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you know how you get the beading? Uh -huh. Those beads turned into like, yep. it looked like sap was all over the car. <laughs> it was like literally a high, like a beading droplet. When, beading when you tried to put another product on. Yeah. Yeah. So you had to sand all those, all those droplets, basically. Yeah. When you're talking to car guys, yeah, they can generally figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm but not saying you're going to be great at it, but it, you can do it. So I want, I want access to it. It's going to be my goal. <laughs> no offense to you as a pro, there are a lot more... The companies that are supporting you don't give a crap about you. They're trying to sell their product. And they think they can sell more of it if they make it only available to you as a pro. So, my argument is there are a lot more people than there are pros. Yeah, that's true. But what do I know? I'm just... I mean, I'm just there's a, a lot of detailers I'm just, around. I'm just a cranky mm. DIYer. Most people are busy. Think you'll notice if we steal this hood and put it on my car? I doubt it. <laughs> We'll just wrap yours in lava orange vinyl. <laughs> I think he tried to get it painted, the hood. Yeah, but they wouldn't do it. Yeah, they couldn't get it done. Like, there are certain options that they, at times, would hold up your build. Yeah, and then they just send it without it. Yeah, I fought him on the orange stitching. What's, what's your, uh, what's your stitching uh, preference? Do you like colors? Um. I mean, what would be the alternative? Nothing. Black. Just black? Or actually gray on these cars. I like gray. I don't know. I'd probably get the colored stitch. I'd try to get a car that I could do red stitch. Like, if I had your car, I'd get a red stitch. Yeah. Or even yellow. Well, you can have my yellow stitching. Uh, yours has yellow? Yeah, I'll take it out. and I'll I remember it. that was the, the one thing I'll you didn't like about you. it in yellow seatbelts. I love the colored seatbelts. <laughs> hate it. Okay. I'm thinking about, you know, there's a, there's a possibility I'm going to build a detailing business. Yeah, I heard you talking about that. Mainly for, 
know, product testing, development, and then uh, doing like a boutique, you know, I probably would never do as many cars as you're doing. I'm not doing any of them, <laughs> but, and then my dream would be to have it so that I can do the hood on video and then just yeah. come back, I'll do the, the wing and be done. So that's what you're doing today? <laughs> eh, I'm going to help you out here. I'll do the hood, roof, and trunk. You do the rest. Actually, on this, with the lift, it, the, the, the doors are the easiest part. The most comfortable. Yeah, that hood's going to be the hardest part, probably. Yeah. What are you using on trim these days? Um, if I'm doing G-Tech on it, I'll just put G-Tech right on Tell them out of coating? Yeah. Yeah. On, yeah, on the on the plastic. Yeah. I just usually I use whatever I'm using. I did um, serum way back in the day when it, when I first started using it on a Corvette Z06. Yeah. And, and it has those little plastic flares on the front fenders. Mm -hmm. And I went back a year later to do a maintenance, and they were still beating like crazy. So. Hmm. Maybe for Adam we should just do ultra. Well, it'll give you a chance to do some hands-on with it. Yeah. I don't mind either way. I mean, like I said, CSL is, is mindless. Ultra, you do have to, there is definitely a lot more worry factor. Of screwing it up. Yeah, like it'll, uh, like it'll kind of streak on you a little bit if, you, if you're not really paying attention with your eyes. Yeah. Like in here, it would look perfect, and then you pull it outside, and it would, wouldn't, you know? You have flash time with it? Uh, it's pretty much instant. It's just, it just plays funny sometimes, so you have to pay attention. Like, CSL is just like, whoosh, whoosh, you just wipe. You can wipe it off right away if you want, yeah. or wipe it off in a few minutes if you want. Yeah, serum, if you don't wipe it off, in, or ultra, I mean, if you don't wipe it off within, like, 15 seconds or so, it's going to be... You're gonna start having a little mini heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I have a, uh, I had a water spot battle on my hands coming up here with my M3. So what do you think, heat or no heat? Am I no gonna heat. have to heat it up? Uh, well, yeah. So you have to kind of cycle it. You do what you said is true. So I'm gonna have to bring it up to heat, not heat it while polishing. It. Right. Bring it up with an IR lamp or, or a heat gun. Yeah. Try what, what you basically need to do is try to replicate the condition that created the spot. Yeah, you're basically opening it again. But if you heat it too quickly, then it swells and you can't right. get it. And then it closes. It does the opposite. Right. Well, that's what happened to me. So <laughs> I swelled it. I've had that problem. They came times. back ten times worse than they were when yep. they began. Yep. I've definitely run into that before too. It was like a minute and a half mistake. I left the car out in the sun, walked in, just checked my email, and as I usually do, get sidetracked, chasing rabbits. Well, while you're washing it or something? You let well, the water sit? I was doing it on pressure washer series, and I just, I, I hit the car with a uh, you know, foam cannon, do a little quick little test. Yeah. And then uh, went inside, came back. An hour later? Two thirds of the, no, like, like two and a half minutes later oh, but wow. the sun was just right day right time blew right through everything you know me i've got 17 layers of wax on the thing uh-huh and uh it blew like through that like it didn't even exist yeah it doesn't matter what you put on the car you yep. know even film it'll ruin film in a heartbeat too yep hard water it's no joke when it's so you're running you're just well water or no you're going through the cr no, aren't you? this was this was at hq so it was a city Oh, Sweet really? Water. You can tell it's hard because the darn toilet's all yellow. Yeah. I think it's more iron than anything. Not we, you know, we don't have like calcium issues and things like that. We did at our house on the shores. Yeah. Yeah, you could like run the the sink in the kitchen and pour a glass of water, and literally see like stuff like sand floating, floating. around. Yeah. It's disgusting. I'm gonna take this sticker off so badly. Ah, oh, crap, Adam. You got XM. I told them not to get XM. Talking about the antenna on the roof? Yeah. yeah. It's even worse. Now he has an orange wart on the roof. Yeah, I noticed that. I'd be vinyl wrapping that black or something. Or paint it. 
Oh yeah, there's a good sanding mark right there. Always on the deck lids. I went, uh, did some sand into the 1M trunk. <laughs> Do you use and a red stick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I, you mess it up? Yeah. Oh gosh. I, I didn't mess it up, but I didn't. You can still see some of the leftover. Oh. I did 2,000. You're, you're just too scared to keep going after the. the... No, I mean, I, I can fix it, but just got tired like there's a it's right up against the uh the lip and so i went this way and so then i made a little channel there mm. <laughs> i didn't make a channel on the other side i did on so it was on two sides like here and on the other side like a little you know six inch section so yeah well, i figure there's only one way to figure it out is you just got to keep doing it you know yeah figure out what's what's not... safe and what you get that gut feeling uh, yeah. when you need to stop. I'm not afraid to look like an idiot. That just sucks to go through the hassle of repainting it. Well, yeah. That's the only bad part. But, you know, if I tried to tear, rip that out with a, uh, you know, a compound, I would have had a higher probability of oh, for sure. going through it versus... Just use that um, three-inch pneumatic from Rupes. When we were playing with that in Colorado. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. We got to get your air set up in here. Yeah, that'll be the next step. The next thing, yep. On airlines all over. Yep. Looks these like, are all metal depth and paint depth hmm. differences that the naked eye, I mean, you're not going to get it with detailing lights. So that's just a, like a, a 3, diffused... 3D LED board changes colors, you can go depending on which paint color. Yeah. So what I'm seeing there, that's not orange peel, that's the metal? Yeah, you're seeing a combination of metal. Like, especially like in line, perfect with the I door see handle. like little divots and stuff. Yep. Is that what I'm saying? Yep, that's but past, it looks past orange peel. Let me see if I can get this on camera. Interesting. So what do you do with that? Can't really do, I mean, you could PDR it all. If you want to painstakingly and consequential, but this is how, you know, Philly is doing a paint correction. You know, we'll find dents prior and take them out so that along with the paint correction, you have a metal correction. Mm -hmm. You're not just in a situation where your car looks shiny, but it's also flat. Yeah. But it's just Interesting. a good way to look to inspect to see if any of those, sometimes in the factory, you know, what you saw You'll have ones that are a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. That's so easy to see, too. That's crazy. Yeah. We'll check the other side. You know, one day, uh, one morning, I woke up and I said, uh, I'm going to go get, you know, PDR certified. I thought it was something I could just take a course. It was like five or 6000 get all the tools. Yeah. But I missed the whole fact that you need to be a gosh darn artist in order to make it happen. Yeah. It's pretty like, you could have all the tools you want. Yeah. But without the skill set and the practice and the time... It was, uh, yeah. yeah. So needless to say, I didn't go. It's the, it's the <laughs> what is it, the king of the trades? Is it the challenge? The yeah. That I've heard that, you know, I've heard people say that. So no dents in this thing? No. Other than the little natural imperfections? Pretty common area for all the GT cars is the rails. Up here, look at From people palming it? Not really sure why something we see we see a lot now let's say that they had let's say you had three dents what does that cost to fix uh, it just depends on the size location depth metal so you versus you know high strength steel versus ultra 
mm -hmm. which is standard. Um, starts at 129 for up to an inch. Mm -hmm. And then if it's on the same panel, we'll do multiple dent discounts. Um, and then, you know, if you look on our Instagram page, you'll see stuff that we take the doors off the car completely to reshape. Yeah. So, that, you know, that kind of almost gets into cost comparative. So it's you're comparing paint. repaint versus? You are, yeah. I guess it depends on the car. If you, have a, yeah, if you have a classic car, you don't want to. Or even one of these or a Ferrari or something. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to repaint that. Yeah. If you can't, if you can help it. Yeah, we go through a lot to stop it from happening. Yeah. I mean, it, even dead slip paint missing, you know, that was uncommon. We'll do it. I think we have an Audi job tomorrow with, you know, it's going to go through an extensive touch up process with dents mm. to save it. So, yeah. I mean, time you're able to keep the factory paint on there for as long as possible, you're, you know, you're doing the right thing for the car. Yeah. At least I think that's what the consensus is in this building. Mm. Cool. Well, yeah. All right. Paint correction time. Yeah. You lay that thing down, don't you? The pressure washer? Yeah. Mm -mm. You're gonna blow the thing up. <laughs> it has to be laid down. Yeah, we didn't know that. Yeah, I'm surprised it's still working. Because it doesn't oh, have it a, like a champ. <laughs> there's no um, there's no oil pump. So you, you so still, use the water? Yeah, you're destroying that thing. Yeah, she's been running like that for what, two years? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every day? Yeah, you wanna lay that thing down, dude. Maybe you shouldn't now. <laughs> it's like not putting synthetic in something that's that hasn't had it. Well, you can rebuild it later. It's getting rebuilt right now. It's probably why it uh, that started is, leaking. That's exactly why. Yeah. All right. So now you know. Two years standing up. It's good. Yeah. That's all you're gonna get with the eye water. Yeah. With the eye water. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do we wanna do first? Uh, probably focus on the hood. Okay. And then you can bow out for the day. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just do kidding. <laughs>